Hey guys, Fire here, bringing you another First Impressions video. This time we're checking out Front Mission First Remake. Uh, this game's currently available in the Xbox Store for a price starting at 35 bucks at the time of me recording this. It is on sale, so you can save a little bit of money. But yeah, let's see uh, see what we th think about this, I believe, turn-based game. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is uh, strat strategy turn-based. But yeah. Uh, oh wait, Corporal, Difficulty, let's just do the d default difficulty, I, I know I always say I like to start on the e easiest, um, but uh, yeah, let's give that a shot, so there's classic mode, so this is actually like a, a remake game if you didn't know, um, kind of by the title, remake, but let's uh, let's do the new modern version and see how we like it. As, as always, if you enjoy the videos, please let me know what you think down below in the comments. Oh, there's no narration. Ah, that's it's all, 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 always something I, I really want to see. It's especially when a game costs thirty-five to dollars. Like, I feel like just that little bit of extra would would add to the game. You know, like I'd feel more immersed and more invested in the characters. You know, but. That's kind of my take, like, did you guys agree? Like, is it, like, a, a letdown when there's no, like, voice narration in games? Because it, it really, really is a big, like, downer for, for me. Okay, so we'll, uh... Move our guy, so... I, I, I guess we are going in, like, the tutorial, but... Still, like I said, though, it's it's disappointing that, um, yeah. Also, it's kind of moving through these tutorials pretty quick. I hope those little, like, terrain-style informations will s s stay there. Okay, so he here's all of our things, which... It's throwing a lot, lot at me, so we're just gonna f f f figure it out. Uh, I feel like we should move to cover, and then always kind of f f function that way. And then now we can get to where we need to. Oh, I guess we can just tell it to go there, and then it kind of just does it over the course of time, or it gets us as close as we need to. Also, calling them Wanzers just sounds kind of weird to me. Melee, short, okay, long range. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that unit was on the roof of the building, but he wasn't. Okay, pretty simplistic. I'm gonna kind of skip through some of the text when it seems fairly self-explanatory. We are gonna get behind some cover. Uh, use item, no, and so this guy's gonna get closer. Wait, now can I, oh, select a weapon. So we can punch him or shoot him. I feel like with him this close, punching makes more sense. Unless we miss uh, uh, obvious. Okay. So he got to shoot us and we whiffed. Sounds about right. So let's go ahead and uh, attack this guy and we'll shoot him this time. Okay. Yep. So sh shooting o over meleeing, I guess. Let's uh, let's finish him off. There we go. So we get, get some experience. Wait, how how is he still um still up and functioning? I thought we destroyed him. Oh, it's because we need to take all, all the parts out. I I got it. I like the little animation of him blowing up. That was kind of cool. Okay, so we need to re repair ourselves. Wait, please tell me we don't have to fight you. 
Oh, we have to fight you. Okay, uh, we'll repair 50 HP. Oh, did we get to, like, distribute it? So if we do body... Oh, it barely did a a anything. Got it. Wait, why are you, like, so much... Yeah, there's no way we're winning this fight. Like, that's not gonna ha happen, right? I'm gonna try to just, uh... Keep some distance. Bone. What does bone do? Oh, we can shoot missiles? Well, that's kind of cool. I think this guy wants to be close to us. Wait, I didn't... Oh, I guarded. I guess that was a good move. But I do, I do think we want to continue to use this bone weapon. So our, our missiles effectively... Because those dealt a lot of damage. Okay, so we, t we t took out the body. Um, do we, is, is the body the main thing we need to kind of target? I, I, I guess so. The, the other parts, I guess, would just impact like your movement and other, other things. So, makes, makes enough s s sense. Oh, hey, we're getting promoted. That's cool. Kill bonus. Okay, no repair costs. Maybe because it's in tutorial. Select campaign. Oh, OC, you side or UC? See, applause. Reckon we're first time. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do uh, We'll do the f f first time playthrough. Um, you know, I'm going to change our name to f f Fire. Confirm. Enter. Wait, no. I totally just said. F oh, maybe I didn't hit c c confirm with X. Enter pilot call sign. Oh, there's a c c confirm. There we go. Call signs f fire. Alright, I want to at least try to do a, a mission, maybe two, so you guys can s s see a little bit of the game. So, so far, the, the biggest thing that I'm just n not a fan of is just the, the, the lack of narration. Like, v visually, the game doesn't look bad at all. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a remake. It's not meant to be, like, some crazy futuristic th thing. Our name is Fire and our call sign is Fire. We will only go by Fire. Uh oh, what's what's ha ha happening, Karen? Oh, you're in trouble, Karen. Okay, so we're good to fight. Do we get to control all, all, all of them? I, I hope so. Yeah, okay, so let's move all, all of our units in. And we'll start advancing everybody. I think they're just gonna, like, destroy Karen. Oh, that guy's tough. Is she gonna get to run away, I wonder? Like, there's no way we can destroy that bigger guy. Alright, we're, we're coming, Karen. Oh, we've gotta get through this doorway, okay. Keep on pushing. I got a feeling that they're just gonna just destroy her and then leave. Yeah.
Like, we're not gonna get to really do some... Oh, maybe we will get to do some a a a actual fighting. Okay, so you can move through units. Okay. It's good to know. I don't think... Yeah, I'm not close enough really to attack anybody. I'm just hoping that big guy can't do anything to us. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll use our machine gun. And then we're going to use our other units to probably try to just destroy that, that first guy that came over. Uh, let's uh, let's attack him with the babone. Okay, that that one's just destroyed, and then we'll use the bones on these other two, I think. Oh wait, no, are we the only ones that have have the bone? Uh, we'll we'll still attack this guy. I IBS. What is that? Oh, does he have like a sniper? Oh, he he does. Okay. So this guy has. Oh, he can shoot rockets. Okay. No, I didn't mean to end. He needed to move. Crap. Oh, good, good. He he missed. That was almost not what we w wanted to ha have happen. Okay, so we're gonna attack. The f guy right next to our, our unit. I think that's our best play. And then we'll get this guy to just kind of f finish him off. Oh, wasn't quite enough, but we, we took out his arms, which is good. I feel like our, our best play here is just to continue to just target w one unit at a time. Yeah, I, th I think that that's the play play for us. These guys are not good at shooting rockets. That that's for for sure. Okay, we're just gonna kind of change some of our positioning a, a, a little bit. All right, almost took him out in one kind of go. We'll, uh, we'll walk this unit over and end. And I think we'll walk this guy over, but I, I know he's got the, uh, the sniper that should be able to wipe him out. Or not the sniper, but rockets. Okay, are we going to get to fight this big boss guy? Oh, he's going to blow up the base. That's kind of cool animation. I, I like the combat. There's a couple things for, for hey, an achievement. C couple things for me that just it would be kind of nice to have maybe some more HUD stuff when you're in movement and knowing like what weapons that maybe come in range or not. And I guess you kind of learn that as you're going, but just kind of a thing that would be kind of cool to see. see what's next for us I feel, I think we sh should be getting like an end mission briefing like we did in the training M maybe so it does look like it's like I said it's tr trying to build a, a decent storyline but still not ha having that narration for, for me like with voice it just just it, it makes it hard to f follow the storylines So what is this like? Like an arena? Okay.
Okay, so we're doing our arena combat. What do we want to use? I think we want to use our, our raptor. No, we want to use this. Oh, this is kind of like an interesting little, like, battle mode between units. It's kind of cool. This is... We've never landed a punch yet. Okay, yeah, I, I wanted to see how that goes. See, now, if all the other combat was kind of like this, I think it would be pretty cool. Oh, wait, crap, we're, we're almost down. We've got to get this guy down. If he hits us good on the body, we're done. Okay, we managed to take him down. So I, I guess we keep the winning streak going that we didn't get to participate in prior. Okay. So I guess we're going to get recruited by mercenaries? Cool. Okay, we can, we can avenge Karen. That's all, all, all we want to do. Oh, this is like a cool, cool little base, mercenary base. Oh, okay, so we actually get to do a couple things here. Uh, purchase gear. What can we purchase? I mean, do we actually? Oh, we we do have money. Okay, cool. Let's buy weapons for our shoulder. No, hand. Oh, okay. We can buy some things. I don't really know if we necessarily need to do much here at the at the moment. Uh, military word. Maybe we're gonna be missions. Yeah, let's go. Let's go knock out at least another mission. Wow, <laughs> the plane is like kind of. Not that big next to one of these mechs. Yeah, I hope you guys are ha having a good day so so far, and been able to play some uh, some f f fun games on Xbox. Okay, so I guess we're now we're getting to kind of navigate around the mission map. Okay, I, I guess we're getting air, air dropped in. Yeah. Okay. Good. We're we're here here to help. So are we gonna get to control of five of them? That'll be kind of cool. Okay, let's just try to get some movement around. I would kind of expect maybe some reinforcements to be appearing for the other other team for sure. Um, I think I'm gonna kind of just try to keep all my guys here together. Maybe we can get a little close to these guys. That's a good body shot. Just took half him down. Okay, so let's go here. Can we attack? No. What if we go from here? Can we then attack? I want to attack this guy. Since just because he's weak already. Maybe we can take him out. Oh, that was actually mildly pathetic of an attack. Okay, so they're all going to move. And we'll just kind of defend ourselves here. So, I'm wondering if we take the legs out, is that going to allow us to just stop them from moving all together? 
Which is what I would kind of think would ha happen. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just keep using guns. I haven't had much luck with pistols at all, so... Or not pistols, punching. So I think there's like seven or eight units that we're kind of fighting against. Okay, so we can just take out arms to kind of hinder different weaponry systems. Let's see, can this guy... He can't attack from distance, unfortunately. It doesn't appear this guy can either. So we'll just get kind of close. Oh, okay. We'll, maybe we'll try the Zora Punch. See if we can't do anything with it. Okay, we almost crippled his la legs. That's good. Um, but I'm still a big fan, honestly, of just shooting. Okay, so the leg legs are destroyed. So I don't think this unit can attack it anymore. What is this punch is different? We'll try this punch. Okay, it did a good bit of damage. Didn't break any units. And their punch just kind of bounced off of us. This guy's kind of not in the best position. He's gonna kind of get ganged up by m multiple units here. So we need we need to f finish what we're doing over here, so we can get back over and give him some support. Although we are close to kind of taking these this unit out over over here, which is good. I, I do like the, like the, the turns and stuff. Like it, the combat go, goes pretty quick. Like it's not like this is taking for, for forever to do movements, and the AI is pretty smart with what it's doing. You know, it's not you know it's taking forever to do its actions. Like I don't feel like I, ha I have a lot of downtime, which is which is good in a turn-based game, because like if you're ex really experiencing like a ton of downtime, it's really gonna take you out of a game. Okay, I think we might be able to take out a couple of these units now uh, on this go. So we're just going to kind of keep working at the ones we've been doing. And then we'll kind of reposition. Yeah, th there we go. That's our f f first one down. I think we're going to work on... I think we're going to work on sending this guy over here to help out. Just with how many units are over here. I don't really want to get in a situation where there's just an outnumbered base going on. Yeah, I, I think moving some units around really does make a lot more sense. Because this guy's going to need some support. Okay, we'll just have these two units just kind of really work on here. And kind of keep pushing through. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll just keep grinding at this guy. Okay, there there we go. We just took down that unit, which is good. Um, I think we send this guy over here, maybe, to just start doing some uh, other fights. We'll kind of yeah, we'll just kind of start re repositioning for e e even more support. Let's see, yeah. We'll, we'll leave our green guy up there just to kind of deal with that unit. I, I think he's got it under control, which is good. And we'll just kind of keep collecting all, all of our guys here together. Which is re really what I want to be doing. Oh, that that's an unfortunate miss. We really could have used hit, hit, hitting that one. Okay, this guy's getting closer and closer to being done with. I mean, we've Crippled the legs, the, the right arm. Okay, that wasn't too, too bad of a hit. If we can take out that other arm, this guy's just gonna be kind of just a corpse. Which is f f fine with me. 
So some of these AI units though are kind of I think getting a little confused in their positioning, for 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 sure. Uh, we'll go ahead and get over here and start actually having some combat going on. I think that's f fine. Uh, I also wonder, like, I, I see on the kind of some of the stats for your weaponry. Um, I, I wonder if in like the, the harder difficulties, you are kind of more constrained with like a ammunition and things, that, resources that you have, which would make a, a lot of sense. All right, let's see if we can send another m missile over here and get some better damage going. Ah, oh, come on, Keith, you can't be missing that. Ah, we're, we're, we're missing, like, e e easy things here. Which just isn't good, to be honest. I'm hoping I didn't wait to pull back that other other unit and be too, too late on a acting. Okay. JJ's definitely taking more, more damage than I wanted JJ to be taking. I think this might be, I think we might lose a couple units here, which is not what I was really wanting to have ha happen, but I'm just not seeing many options out of some, some of these scenarios for us. So, but it's kind of, it, it is what it is, really. Unless some major things start changing for us. I think we're going to need to just retreat this guy a little bit and get him some support. No, no, I did not want to end that. I could have repositioned. I keep forgetting, like, I'm I'm wasting that red unit. Ah. Okay. Alright, come on. You've got to be able to take this guy out, JJ. End this so you can go support your friends. Okay, good. You're going to go help out the white mech now to keep some support, because I'm willing to bet that AI unit's going to keep trailing me. Okay, I, I need some missed attacks. Oh, that was really good, Keith. Way to, way to kind of c come back there. Okay, let's just try to uh, take this guy out. I need this rocket to land. Come on. Okay, it la landed on the legs. That, that's okay. Not quite what we were wanting. Um, I'm gonna keep this guy kind of running right now. I think he just he needs to kind of get out of there And then we're gonna send this red guy over here. We got to start making some damage on this guy This guy's pretty tough Okay, let's just put this guy down come on there we go. That's that's another, another one I would love to finish this mission with none of my units going down. Like, that would be so good. Oh no, I didn't realize how, like, low his health is. Crap. He's pretty weak, too. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't like this. Well, this guy's resorting to only punching, so I guess that's not the e end of the world. But I think I need to send some units b back to start kind of blocking out some of my other guys here. And we'll just kind of let this guy keep tanking this one. They can just keep b b brawling each other. We're doing, we're doing good here. We're doing, well, we're doing better. Let's, let's rephrase that. Actually, let, let's use an item. Let, let's do some repairing. Let's get our body back up. That way we know, we know he's going to be fine. And we've got Natalie here just kind of tanking this commander, which is fine. That other unit over there just doesn't seem to really know what it's doing with its life, which is fine for me right now. We're really just needing all the help we can get. 
I think I'm gonna start to actually work getting a couple units to head toward that guy there on the right side. Um, but let's let's make sure we can take this, this unit out real quick too. I just don't want to get in a scenario where we're making mistakes. There we go. So we can start redirecting all of our units now to kind of really hit that other guy at the top right because we don't really know how strong that unit is. Okay, there's got to be a way for us to get around here. Unless there's just not. I think we may ha have to just take this guy down before we can advance anything. Yeah, man, maybe that's why that unit isn't moving. We'll just continue our walk. We'll, we'll get everybody around here. Let's uh, let's repair our unit though. Get our body all the way maxed back out. Okay, I might be able to flank around with that unit, which is fine. We'll just keep walking everybody around. We're close to taking this guy out. He's he's lost about half his health, so which is good. We'll just kind of keep walking some units around. Trying to get closer and closer. I like I said, I don't know if that unit up top is just wasting his time, but we'll find find out if we can walk over that top part. Oh, okay, so we, we can't get over here. That's that's good. Um, what if we want to use an uh, item? Oh, health's actually really good. Let's, let's actually start attacking this unit. Oh, we got a good gun. Good job there, Keith. Okay, it's our first time getting to interact with this unit, so... We can't do much here with our other guys, just because this just tank of a unit's just in our wake consistently. So this is just going to be kind of like a, a 1v1, I guess. That looks like Keith's doing a good job of cleaning up, so... But yeah, you know, so, so far, like, it, it's not a bad game. Like like I said, the b biggest part about the game is just taking me out of that ex experience. Having to just read and not have, like, audible narration, like, voice acting. With a game that you're spending 35 bucks on. I, you know, I, I know it's a, it's a re remaster, but, you know, that little bit of, like, I'd spend, f I spent... I think people would easily want spend five more dollars... If you added that in, you know, and like, it's, you could have one person just doing a ton of different voices just to make some sense of connecting with the characters. And, you know, for, for me, that's something I, I wish I could see with this game. You know, it's not a bad game out, outside of that, but that's just kind of my th thoughts. I, I think w without stuff like that, it is a little steep in price, but it's still a f fun little turn-based game. And who doesn't love mechs, you know? I'm a big mech fan. One of my favorite games of all time was Chrome Hounds on the 360, and it was so much fun. So it's always nice to get into some fun mech-based games, and I like turn-based sim simulation games. But yeah, uh, I appreciate you guys jo joining me along for the ride here. Um, if you did enjoy that video, please consider hitting that thumbs up button uh, and maybe subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed it. And hopefully you'll check out one of the other two videos on screen. I'll catch you next time and have a blessed day.